Welcome back. You're still watching The Spot. Remember to join in on the conversations that we're having via Facebook. You can send us a tweet. And, of course, you can always send us an email on entertainment at ebonylifetv.com. Um, it's time for us to check out today's spot of music. And it is the lovely Lola Ray with One Time. the new music and I guess try to figure out because I know there was a point where she tried to move back fully mm, okay. and then she went back so I think now she's giving it a good go okay uh, so this is one time the latest single which has a reggae dancehall type of feel um, I don't know who shot the video but I think it's a it's a pretty cool video it kind of reminds me of Brianna work for some reason I don't know you know you said reggae whatever now and that's actually what I probably have a uh, bit of a conflict with okay. what she does. Because you think she's more... I don't know. Pop? I don't know. You don't okay. know where yeah. you put her? Because I, I feel like I've gotten an R&B vibe once. I feel like I've gotten a lot of pop vibes. Okay. Now there's reggae. So I'm not sure. I don't know. She just... like she I mean, Rihanna probably also going. does that as yeah. well. It does a lot of... So is, the, is that what she's going for? Like this like wholesome... Mm -hmm. I think she's one of the artists that um, probably got caught up in the essence of what the sound is here and what oh. like works here because if you know she she tried to do another song i can't remember what it's called where she was rapping and um it just wasn't really her mm -hmm. that i felt uh but i think this is what she thinks is now going to you know launch her off even bigger mm -hmm. She and seems very really, passionate about music. Yeah. She is. And, um, She's very sweet. and performance. Yeah. Yeah. She I've very passionate seen her about, perform you know, and yeah, I could see the work. And, yeah, she she's put very into. she wants she likes to put up a show, even when her videos. Yeah. You can tell that that's what she likes. So um good luck to her. Um I don't know that she's signed to any record labels no, here. I don't know. I, don't I know I've heard about conversations with two major labels, but that was like last year. So you can see that I don't know if they fell through or uh, conversations are still ongoing and that would have probably triggered some other things. Mm -hmm. So it'd be nice to see how things work out for her. You have a lot of artists who succeed without labels anyways. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it would be nice to see 2016, 2017, what's going to happen with her career. The space for ladies in, in entertainment now is a lot bigger. And yeah, so good luck to her. She's young, so she has a long, mm -hmm. you know, time to career ahead blow of our minds. Ahead of yes, indeed. You should come visit. She should. Sometime. She should. Yes. All right. It's time for us to welcome our guest into the house. Um, she's someone who I have watched for quite a while and you know, appreciate her, her craft mm -hmm. and her talent and her work. Mm -hmm. She's a broadcaster, yes. amongst other things, which we'll hopefully find out. <laughs> Please welcome Didi Ake. Hello. Welcome. Hello. 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 Hi, welcome, welcome. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, we should have said award winning. Mm. Welcome. Thank you so much. I love this, by the way. Thank welcome. you. Mm. Mm. Hello. You say you watch me. <laughs> How are you I doing? I hope you do, really. Of course I do. <laughs> Hi, this is really fun. Wow. Is it? Is it so weird? relaxed. Because I, I feel like because like, you do very serious stuff. Yeah. You know, you report business. Like, it doesn't get more serious than that. Yeah. I feel like even politics is not as serious as business. <laughs> we are like a business reporter, you're like, yeah, you know. so and in these times, so you're telling yeah. the world there's no money. Sorry, yeah. no money. I remember, I remember the first time I saw her outside of the business scene. I think it was the ENBC or something. Yeah, yeah. And oh, she okay. was part. Hey, hey. <laughs> so you were thinking, Larry, like, ah, is this the same person? Stock exchange. Do you get that reaction from people sometimes? Um. <laughs> yes. No. I mean, what happens is a lot of times I go out and people are trying to ask me. Serious questions. Serious questions. Like, like, oh, I just want to So what do you think about the economy? I'm like, oh, like, oh gosh. Let's I'm talk clubbing. about whiskey. Can I just yeah, dance? You're know, having fun. Yeah. Yeah. I think about the economy. So that happens a lot, yeah. yeah. How's, it, how's it been, though? Is this something you've always wanted to do? Are you happy with the space uh, you're in? Let me not lie, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's been fantastic, something. but it's not what I was initially planning to do. I mean, I really just um, fell in this you know, path of mine. I mean, I studied chemical engineering. 
Wow. Can imagine. Mm. But I think that obviously when you're a student at university, you're not always very sure oh, what, what it is that you want to do. Yeah. Ah, but that chemical engineering takes brain It's fast. <laughs> yeah, very English. Ah. My, <laughs> my mom, you know, worked in the oil and gas industry for, you know, 30 years. And mm. my dad's an engineer. And then I had friends, you know, we studying engineering. So, so like, I was like, okay. oh, yeah, I want to do chemical engineering okay. too. And by the time I got into like the first term, I was <laughs> yeah, like, like no. yeah, I was sitting there and I was thinking, this no. is not for me. <laughs> but you <laughs> but did it anyway. I did it anyway. And I mean, it's kind of very difficult to change um, your uh, majors, yes, your yes. path. Yeah. In the UK, especially. Mm -hmm. I think in the US, it's quite easy yeah, to do that. But in the UK, it was like, I think I actually went ahead and I said, um, I want to change. And they were like, to where? To like, <laughs> are you going to? <laughs> How? Sorry. Sorry. So yeah, they were like, yeah. look, just stay here. So I stayed and I, I passed it. I did well. Yeah. And then I went into the uh, financial space and I started working. I worked in the bank. I did all that. And uh, then I decided, oh, you know what? I want to do a real estate show because I was passionate about that mm, world, you know, okay. investing in uh, the real estate market. It was something that I did, you know, from like 20. Mm -hmm. So I was always, you know, very into uh, property shows and all that. So I decided to do that. And so I said, okay, let me go and shoot a pilot for mm -hmm. a real estate show very naively, <laughs> like five years ago. <laughs> and I was like, yes, I'm going to do a pilot. And I went on the internet and I researched how to, you know, how to make a documentary, you know. <laughs> so then uh, my mom, she must, she must really be wonderful because I said, so mom, I want to go to South Africa to shoot a pilot. And she was like, okay, let's go. So I went, I shot a pilot um, and I started, uh, you know, sending it round yeah. to uh, different networks and I sent it into where I am now, of yeah. course, uh, at CNBC Africa. And my boss watched it and he called, like literally the day he watched it, he called me, he was like, you need to come in. Oh, wow. And then he was like, do you want to, I mean, have you ever thought of being on TV? Oh, wow. Mm. And I was like, eh, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not really. quite. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and even if, I mean, I was just trying to do this show, you know, and be an entrepreneur and move on. I wasn't really trying to be a journalist, but mm. then, here I am it today. That's an interesting <laughs> story. <laughs> story yeah. Yeah. Well, we're yeah. going to find out more about her interesting story uh, when we come back from this short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back, guys. You're still watching The Spots. Um, we have our guest Didi in the house. And before the break, we're talking about um, how you've evolved from yeah. a chemical engineer <laughs> to a broadcaster yeah. in business. So now you said you just found yourself. So are you enjoying it? I am. I mean, to be honest with you, I can't imagine doing anything else now. Like I go to work and I feel like I'm not working. I'm, I'm feel like I'm every day. I'm just having fun. It's something new, even though it's tough, you know, it's yeah. business news. You have to keep up with a lot of things that are going on in the world. Yeah. Uh, but I, I completely love it. I mean, every day you're learning something new, you're changing you're yourself, mm -hmm. yeah. which was really different in the past, you know, from the other jobs I did, because you go to work as a banker, you have set tasks that you're doing every day and it's the same mundane task. Yeah. Most of the time, it's the same thing you're doing every single day. And you know, it's fun, you make more money, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you probably get bored very quickly. Yeah. With, with this, every day is different. I mean, I wake yeah. up in the morning and they're like, you're interviewing someone on mining. Okay. <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> entertainment. Okay. Yeah. Next tomorrow, Ghana market or something. So yeah, everything, so something. every day change, like everything, there's something new. Yeah. Every single day, there's something new. And I learn something every single day. So it's great. That's, that's really nice. Good. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. I like to hear that actually. That makes me feel happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. A lot of people are not doing what they want to do. Yeah. It's obvious that you like what you do. You enjoy what you do. Yeah. I think it's also instructive of the fact that you never really know. Sometimes people just take chances and... Yeah, and it, it ends up out. being what it is you yes, actually yes, want it to be. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So do you have like a, an end goal in broadcasting? Um, well, I mean, this. obviously I'm going to work for the BBC now for three months. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know what is coming after that. <laughs> you think we're going to do business? By the, way. Um, the business side of things. I don't know. I mean, I might. and uh, I might. I mean, It'll be nice to see sort of another angle of yeah. journalism and not just stick to business yeah. all through. I know um, what you mean, girl. But then at the same time, you know, that show that I went to film mm -hmm. um, is actually coming out very soon. Okay. Uh, so, so I found a sponsor for that show. Which is your first show, passion. Which is my first passion, <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, it's going to be sponsored uh, by Landmark Africa, which is obviously okay. an Africa oh. focused uh, real estate company. Awesome. Nice. So I found a good fit with them and that show is coming up. So in a way, I'm being like a media entrepreneur now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and still doing the remember, journalist think, thing. Whose who's interview? I think it was, um, what's Chiwetel's sister's name again? Zainasha. Zainasha. I, I hate that I did that because <laughs> <laughs> she's more than Chiwetel's sister. Yeah. But yeah, I think she also started as a business reporter and said yeah. that, that was her passion. She wanted yeah. to report business. 
and, look and where then she is gradually now. they started putting her into other things and now she's a pro she's like the, full on yeah. politics yeah. business yeah. everything yeah. you know and she enjoys because yeah. i feel like politics is the most probably exciting because yeah. it has like yeah. Every, yeah. Don't, you don't you really don't know what's going to happen right yeah. 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 yeah yeah so it'd be nice to see you i mean doing that but i mean doesn't mean you're not doing great with i actually do watch you every morning yeah i want to see every morning oh happy to hear that well done Thank awesome. you. Okay, well, being that tomorrow is uh, Independence, Independence Day, Nigeria <laughs> is having another birthday. 56. <laughs> it's been a bit of an interesting yeah. year. She We're going to get into our topic of the day, which is Dear Mr. President. <laughs> that's the topic. <laughs> that's the topic. Dear Mr. President. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> We're addressing um, you. So we're addressing him in a way. Um, PMB. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like, obviously, for Nigeria, we all know that it's been a rough year. Oh, it's it been a year of expectations that haven't necessarily been met. Some disappointments here and there and everywhere. Oh, quite a um, few. Some, some things, disappointments. Some disappointments, More than yeah. some. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. So um, it's one of those things where I think a lot of people have been doing that. Dear Mr. President, mm. how far now? <laughs> what's, what's going up? on? Yeah. What's up? You know, what's going on? Like, what is, what do you, what's your take on, like, What's, what's been going, going yeah. yeah, what's going on? Oh, I mean, I think the administration has tried their best, but obviously there's a long way to go. When you look at the economy, um, it, you know, I was saying on my show this morning that it just seems like, you know, with the central bank's uh, policies and everything that's coming out, they were doing a lot of trial and error. Yeah, that's you know, so with the economy. One yeah. policy will come out, it won't work. Tomorrow, another policy will it's come really out. It's like a weekly. <laughs> <though. It just laughs> yeah. So there's, there's certainly something going on there. That, you know, it's weak. You know, when I'm thinking about, you know, dear Mr. President, I'm thinking, please, dear Mr. President, do something about the Naira because it's getting a bit expensive to do anything. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you, you can't, you, we can't go on that way. You yeah. know, I mean, obviously, where is the Naira now in comparison to the dollar? Mm -hmm. At the parallel market, people, you know, they come up with, policies saying yes you know then we're floating the naira the interbank market you can go back to accessing your forex mm -hmm. you, you know your pta and your bt and your school fees but people when you're can't. speaking to people they can't access these funds i'm a witness <laughs> i'm a witness <laughs> you know? so, i'm so, a witness so I like what's going on here and then yeah. also when you look at you know um our security issues in the north uh, the chibok girls are oh, still missing, yeah. obviously, you yeah. know, that is still it's big videos news. still coming out, you know. You know, and yet, you know, obviously the government comes out and is saying, we have sorted out, you know, Boko Haram, you know, we've kept them at bay, mm -hmm. we've handled the situation, but is it really quite handled? Yeah. No. I mean, Maybe if you, not. If you handle that, the South, South and South East are still having their issues. Exactly. Right. You know, the herdsmen yeah. are still yeah. prowling. Yeah. Yeah. I Avengers. think for, for me, though, the most is still, still the economy. Because yeah. it looks like... Um, a lot of promises were made, you mm. know, when, when he was sworn into office and um, he made certain promises with specific things like corruption, yeah. the fight against corruption and, of course, security. Um, I mean, we could claim that on, on those two in particular, you've seen a lot of effort being put into it. Mm. Definitely the North is not as bad as it used to be, even though we're starting to see things rear their ugly heads in other parts of the country. But the economy in particular just seems like the most unbelievable, like... Yeah. And it's the one thing that's affected every Everything. single person yes, yes. in no every single way. Middle are. class, upper class, yes, yes, the yes. poor, everybody's complaining about something. And yeah. you know, like you said, it just looks like there's no consistency mm -hmm. or there's no, we don't know what's going to happen. And it's never happening. ending. You know, there's so many different issues. You know, one minute you're talking about the price of uh, tomatoes in the market and, you know, the next minute you're, you know, an inflation, then you're talking and about kerosene. forex, the kerosene. There's a lot. There's so much going on. Then you're talking about the Niger Delta Avengers and, you know, Boko yeah. Haram. It's like one issue after, after the, the other. other. Yeah. 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 Um, well, we're going to take another break real quick, and there's a lot to talk about, you know, obviously. When we come back, we're going to be talking about all the other things that we would like dear Mr. President to do. Please stay with us. Hi guys, welcome back to The Spot, and today we're talking about, um, well, the title of our um, show today is there mr president <laughs> uh they should actually send us what they want yeah they should send please. us their own yeah. dear mr send president us, um, tweets your, facebook yeah. no five page letters <laughs> no, don't send us a four page letter um, yeah so just let us know what you think and what you would love to say to the president if you had the opportunity to um i wanted to talk about 
Aside from some of the things that we've mentioned, like what are the other major, um, major things for you that you think haven't been handled properly? So in my opinion, yes, there's a lot happening with the economy. Um, yes, we have a lot of security issues, but I still feel that communication is a big problem. Mm. Um, mm. I don't know if they're communicating very well with us or just like Cookies. you said, they're, we're, we're Ooh, in this trial so and nice. error phase yeah. where things are just okay. been thrown out and you know, where we wake up the next day and we find out that, oh, okay, this is what we're doing and everybody's like, ah, okay, let's go with it and see if it works. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think there needs to be a better way for us to hear at least them. hear from them and feel like okay they're working because you you tell me you're working i'm like okay you're it, working it, it but gets like, even more annoying because it, it was one of the biggest criticisms of this government of, of the, the previous past government yeah. yeah the fact that they didn't say much yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. you come back now and now even when they say it's almost contradict contradictory because this minister says something then the special yeah. advisor says oh no yeah. not really yeah and yeah. then another minister comes and says but you know, and it's like on the same issue, there's yeah. even no consensus. There needs, mm. and there needs to be. Yeah. yeah. Better that's, communication that's a big one. That's a big one for, I think, a lot of people. Mm. Um, I think a lot of people were prepared for things to be difficult. Mm -hmm. What they weren't prepared for was what they feel like or what we felt like were excuses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the communication is such a huge part of it. Like, okay, fine, things are tough, yes, but let us like talk to us as opposed to talk at us mm -hmm. and then the things that you choose to say also make a big difference mm -hmm. you know when you have spokespeople who are saying things that you yeah. don't find that are, are actually not palatable for a spokesperson to really say yeah. you know um and we had official spokesmen saying tweeting especially on social media we had a lot of that you know where they would tweet something and it just seemed very um how do you tone unbecoming. deaf yeah, yeah. unbecoming yeah. and tone deaf yeah because with the situation where people are suffering, you shouldn't just be like, eh, why are you wailing? Yeah. Why would you say that? Well, you know that? what? I you think know, we have that thing. problem in general in Nigeria. We've had it for years. <laughs> we don't, we just, I mean, because if you look at the way things are done in the U.S., any small issue, Obama comes There's out and says yeah. something. You right. Know, he speaks to the people. You know, whereas here in Nigeria, we There's a, you know, a major yeah. issue comes yeah. out and we're waiting. No one says anything and it's going. We're just seeing something mm. uh, that's written in some piece of paper, you yeah. know, from the spokesman. You know, so you don't really feel connected yeah. to the government the right. way sort of they do in yeah. other parts yeah. of the world. But I think why it's also more painful is that this, this, there was a change. Yeah, there know, was a lot of excitement. Mm -hmm. with, we're yeah. going to do things differently, yeah. which is not happening, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also a time where people are holding government more accountable generally across the world, mm -hmm. more because there's more people power with social media in particular. Mm -hmm. In the past, oh, you had to you. wait for the newspaper to report things, or if you wanted to air your views, if you didn't get on television, or you didn't write a letter to a newspaper and they got it published, yeah. you just didn't feel heard. Now people tweet, people write Facebook messages, people, mm -hmm. there's more ability to express yourself yeah. and know that government is listening. So, yeah. and, and it's, it's also easier enough for government to even speak to us. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of, there's millions of ways, ways yeah. to address yeah. people. Yeah. You know? And it makes such a big difference. I mean, we're not expecting things to change overnight, yeah. are we? I mean, we're not. No. You know, when, you know, we never thought that we'll just blink and all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah. Utopia. We have like this, you know, different, uh, completely different country. Yeah. But if they could just connect with us, or you know, just speak to us in a way that you know, we would feel that okay, you're working, or that, you care. that you care, it will make such a big difference. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I also want to talk about sports. I'm sorry. Sports. Dear Mr. Mm. President, yeah. what <laughs> happened? Dear Mr. Dalon, Minister, I, I don't know what. I'm a huge <laughs> sports lover, like a huge. And the Olympics is like, I mean, it's the. Yeah. Begun of what I don't know. <laughs> and the last year, I don't know that we've ever had it this bad. Yeah. Athletes have said they've never had it this bad. Yeah. I was listening to the lady who represented us in weightlifting, Miriam Osman. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's been to three or four Olympics for Nigeria. She's won the Commonwealth Games gold. Like, she's really accomplished. Mm -hmm. And she said she may never compete for Nigeria again because this has been the worst experience. experience with regards to preparing for the games that she's ever seen. I mean, someone who was who is a champion yeah. couldn't lift. She said she didn't train. She just couldn't train. There were no funds to train anybody, and they just give them clothes and told them, "Oh, jump on a plane and go lift weights." Yeah. Like it doesn't work that way, yeah. you know. And the Olympics is once in four years. It's not like every month. Mm -hmm. It's something that we should know. You disbursed funds. Years, or you allocated yeah. funds. Disbursement was a mess. 
you know, athletes' clothes arrived two days to the end of the Olympics. It's just all like, what's then changed? Like, is it yeah, changed yeah. for the worst? Like, the sports part is just really ridiculous. And it's the one thing that Nigerians love more than the, anything else. Exactly. So it's actually the easiest way to get them on your side. Yeah, yeah. true, true. And you yeah. get it wrong. Yeah, you know? true, yeah. And it we just, keep talking about how we want to diversify the economy. You know, and yeah. yet, you know, they, there is an opportunity. Yeah, I mean, it employs yeah. tourism you know, culture. I mean, there must be people that, yeah, employ that employs. And if you're not encouraging, you know, your people to go into that, you know, um, Part, no, I mean, if, if, if I was 15, 16, and I had this talent and I wanted to be a sports person, and you seeing this would just be like, you know, you'd be like, okay, maybe I'm not. Okay, UK, okay, hello, yeah. come and take me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's, yeah. true. It's, it's, it's painful. It is. Yeah. It is. If you, um, if you had the president, for example, on your show, and it was an ask me anything. Which is also very interesting. Sorry. Okay. He doesn't do interviews. Oh, you know what? I was going to say that as well. That like is also because you know, the funny thing about it is he's only really spoken to international media. Yeah, that's which is wrong already. Yeah. You know, because come he on, even do it <laughs> like basic. He did like, a lot before he got into office, and then he got into office, and he's just yeah. that on its own. He even just, came. We spoke to him yeah, spoke here to him on yeah. the show. twice. Yeah. Or, I mean, on this, I mean, not this yeah. show, but on the channel. Yeah. Then he he's goes not, into office, and he doesn't talk to Nigerians. I don't he's know, crafted because, the media. I mean, he's, he's speaking to the international channels, isn't he? I mean, he's spoken yeah, to he them. Yeah, he does that a lot. Once yeah. he travels, like they, it so it's one. like, why? Yeah. What is it then? So I heard um, that what happens is when, for example, if they go on an international trip or whatnot, they the the bigger channels mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. would you know reach out. already reach would have reached out and said we'd like to we'd like an interview whatever whatever and the the maybe correspondents of the Nigerian channels mm -hmm. might not have done that. No. Yeah. However, no, 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 I don't think it's right. I yeah. think that you should give preference. You say, well, thank you, yes, but if, uh, if a journalist from Ebony Life was in London when you were doing a press conference mm -hmm. and they asked and said, well, can we just see you on the sidelines? Yes, you might have an interview with a CNN or a BBC or a CNBC, but yeah. you should say, yes, just give me two minutes. Let me talk to this person from ELTV, and then I'll come over and sit with you. Then yes, you've booked yes, an interview. Yes. I think that that's actually the best thing Which to is do what because it's your people do. that want yes, to hear course, course. Yeah. from you. Yeah. The international media whether you like it or not they have an agenda and they have what they're going to ask you about yeah. mm. for you to talk to your local media is a better way to get your story out and what you want to say out we're going to be nicer to you to mm. be honest then yeah you know. and even the media chat thing which a lot of people criticize with other presidents at least it happened yeah it was once a month you gathered whoever you want to gather yeah. but it seemed like you were speaking to the media yeah. that doesn't even happen yeah. anymore it's just a lot of times i mean i mean from where i'm, I'm coming from we approach you know, the presidency well in advance. You know, so we'll say we want to interview him, we send yeah. letters, we send yeah. more letters, we send more letters. We know who to send the letters yeah, to, so it's not like we're sending yeah. it to the wrong person. Yeah. No organizations that but do we that, don't yeah. get any response. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, okay, he's busy or and then next thing we turn on the television and, and we see him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean just you know. imagine President Buhari here, just you know, Chilling. playing charades with us. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna take another break guys and come back and continue our conversation about Mr President. We'll see you in a moment. Hi guys, welcome back to the spot and you're just in time to watch us play a game. Yay! Yay! Okay. Really? So. Just like that? <laughs> oh, okay. Like Let's that. finish. Did you, okay, yeah, you did your Dear Mr. President. I think everybody's done it. Dear, dear Mr. President. I have so many Dear Mr. Presidents. Okay, say a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> While I get the game in. Dear Mr. President. Dear Mr. President on hell. Is there, is there any, any good things you would like to tell him? Any good things I think yeah. he's done? Hmm. Um, I'm actually happy about Boko Haram to an extent. Um, I honestly didn't think it was going to be this quiet in a year. It doesn't mean it's completely quiet. Right. Yeah. But it's, I mean, we almost forget how bad things were. It was what? literally every day. 20 people dead, 25 people dead. It even got to Abuja. We're hearing scares about Lagos, you know. Yeah. Now we don't hear daily bombings. We still hear about, you know, soft targets, markets, and stuff like yeah. that still happening maybe one or two a month. Mm. So it's definitely a lot better. And I'm, I'm actually very appreciative of that because. But then you look at the IDPs and you're just like, that's yeah. another what's thing. happening that's another with that thing. end? Yeah. You know? So there's... It's always, one, it's always something. But yeah, do you know what, though? It's, I have it's a... Pretty... Sorry to cut off. I just thought of that. When we think about all the issues, I know, of course, he's the leader. He's the, he's the coach of the team. And we're all going to look and be like, dude, what's happening with everything? Do you think that sometimes we focus on that one person too much because, and then we don't, you know, because a lot of people say, oh, well, some, people something that's wrong on your streets is your local government chairman. It's not Mr. President that's going to fix it. It's not even yeah, his. He can't do everything. He can't do yeah. everything, right? So there's also that sort of aspect to yeah, it. He should do the ones that so he's the supposed team to do. As well. He should yes. do the ones he's supposed to do. He should do the ones he's supposed to do, right? Okay. So it is time. 
for Game On. Yay! Are you ready? Yes. So you have to tell your me what we're watching. doing. Uh-uh. Why do you always you say that? As as if your you boss know. is watching. <laughs> So Hi, this, boss. <laughs> this game, this game is. Um, I'll write my name first. <laughs> D. Okay. So Elves. I know I was trying to make a uh-huh. thing like. You should have said Zeld. See? Oh. No. Or Dells. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, so yeah. So basically, what you have to do in twenty seconds, fifteen, how many seconds? Twenty. Twenty seconds is form as many words as you can from this one. So this what? could be like bat, band, tab. You know, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Right on, so that you understand. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, so in like okay, a few so seconds, like, you're like, blah, 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 blah. but now you're cheating because you tell us all the words. Oh no 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 no. no there's other. There's, there's other, other ones. Oh, the crazy words. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's for yeah, that. Etc. 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 I see. And things like that. So it doesn't have to be what three letters or anything. anything. It can be anything. Yeah, three letters or we, more. Some people use two letter words. Hmm. Anything yeah. you want to do, don't mind. Yes, you know the two letter words. You write two. Yeah, yeah, that's the Yes, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You gotta write O. O is an expression. Yeah. O. Oh. <laughs> See, I won't count it. You know, O I is a great one. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Oi, you. Okay. So, Ibuka, are you gonna? Are you ready? Are you How many seconds? Bang? Oh, we have to write them. Bang? Yes, we have to oh, write okay, them. Okay, Who's okay. timing? Who's timing? When's your Our time? How many I'm seconds? I'm stressed, so. <laughs> How I don't many, know how this is going to work. How many seconds are we doing? 20? Don't judge me by this. Actually, it yeah, you are being judged. It's 15. Your I, fans are watching. 15. It should be 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Let me 20 stop seconds it. is too long. I know they think you're really smart. Are you ready? <laughs> wow. And I'm going to put pressure on her while I'm doing pressure. And go. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Oh my god, he's too good. Is it not timing? <laughs> Four. That's what I'm saying. What's three. What? Two. <laughs> What's this? One. Sage, sage. Stop. Gid. Gid. Please get. So no, what? no, no. Give me this. Four. Four. Read. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. What is this supposed to even be? Sage. What is sage? Four. Oh, the right read. Oh, yeah, quick. Google. <laughs> check. There is not to be the word. We, no. no it's your turn. Clean. Let me clean the others. No. Oh, yeah, clean. Oh. no, you know what he's going to do when I give him the human oh, no. oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? You see, you see, <laughs> see you're not three in front of me. Are you ready? Ebuka. Yeah, Ebuka. Help her. Huh? What? It's the same one. No, no, no he's, he's going oh, to flip it. it. And Don't worry, Kofi. You're very competitive. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's already ready. Wow. And wait wait, ready? wait for him to take it off, Zainab, because okay. people always do that. Oh my god, this is so hard. Caution. Hmm. Wait. Three. Oh, Are you sure? Wait. Don't lie. You guys cheated before the show started. Yeah, we haven't seen it, promise you. We have a games master. Five. We've seen this four, thing. And his three, job is to make sure we fail. Two. One. Stop. C A K. No, it's supposed to be can, but I didn't have enough time. One, two, three, four, five, six, no three seven, eight. Words. You're oh, a joker. So good. No three okay. letter words. Okay, oh my tired. god, pressure. Oh. You want to greet your, 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 your fans before oh. you come on? Oh, just think. Think of the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your boss's face. Look at them and just think. And okay. how he will react when Are you, you go ready? back to ready? Are you ready? Yeah. And wait. 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 Two minutes. <laughs> you ready? And oh my god. Put. Go. Okay. Don't let them get to you. Yeah. <laughs> You're good at this now. Mm-hmm. Continue, yeah. continue. I can see some. Five. She's four, good. Three. Do it! Two, one more! Let's, let's, one. Let's, 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 let's. Time's up. Uh, I put let already. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So are you only going to allow this? At least I did better okay, than okay, you. Let me give you. Let me give you. <laughs> you are bad, though. You only got three. <laughs> so your mouth is not sharp. <laughs> Can you imagine this so you only got three. See, I gave me 47. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Zainab's turn. Okay, yeah, Zainab. Where's your um the phone and okay. timer? Okay, yeah, so wipe those ones. Oh, off. that wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. See? See how tense you are before you got there. Ah, I was scared. Isn't it? See, it may, people always like, but why'd you get so see you can you can you feel the vibe the you're energy. like energy? Yeah. You're shaking right now. <laughs> Go. What? <laughs> I like how her first word is rude. Uh, that was sort of yeah. 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 <laughs> ah, Go Zainab. What? Ten. Nine. There's one, there's one, there's Seven. one. Six. Look well. Five. 
Four, three, two, one. True, true. She Four. Oh, she was red. <laughs> there was one, red. One, two, three, four. <laughs> boots. Sixty-four. Yeah, boots. <laughs> Do you know all of you are a mess in life? Thirty-four. You're the winner. You're the winner. Forty-seven. <laughs> Four hundred. You're the one in single digits. Oh, I came second. One, you see? Oh. You want to say something to your fans? Wonderful. You want to thank them. Wonderful. You want thank, to thank you so Lord. much for your support. Be, thank you. Be happy. Be happy. Through the years. Yes. Awesome. I just wanted you to be I'm a gentleman. You let who people. That was fun. Yeah. A gentleman, you know. Let's so, let's. <laughs> this show is so fun. I feel like I can just, you know, put my feet up. <laughs> you can. You can. You can. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but um, before we round up, um, I mean, I wanted to say, you mentioned the BBC. Mm -hmm. For people who might not know, did he won the Kamala Dumont Award for? Is, mm -hmm. it, is this Kamala Dumont Award? Like the, it's like a fellowship. It's a, yeah. So it's African a, journalists uh, all over journalists all over Africa apply or are supposed to apply, and um, obviously Kamala Dumont was yeah. uh, well loved journalist uh, so. who used to work for the BBC, and the award is in his honor. So we're supposed to apply. So you go through like a <coughs> four stage process, and I think they had maybe over two hundred applicants or something. Wow. And, and I won. I was and so you sure. won. Yeah. Who did you pay? <laughs> <laughs> and then I won. I'm still shocked, um, but I don't know. It's just amazing. <coughs> I can't. I can't believe it. Where were you when you found out? Um, th they actually called me, and no, they sent me an email and said they were going to call me. And I just, so I was thinking, ah, why are they calling me again now? I've had like interview, Skype interview, <laughs> filling form, sending. Yeah. So I'm thinking, how many? How many stages is this How many this more thing? can there be? How many more can there be? So they were like, yeah, we're going to call you. And I was thinking, ah, is there another interview again? So then I just thought, okay, let me not really be too bothered. Let me just, you know, chill and see what happens. And so I think I was in, in bed or something. <laughs> and then they called me. And they were like, are you sitting down? And I was like, yeah, well, I'm lying down. <laughs> Even were, more comfortable. <laughs> they were like, you've won. And I was like, ah! Like, I just started screaming. And they recorded the entire thing. Oh. So after I finished disgracing myself, oh, my God! I then I played it. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, like that. yes, they were like, we just, we just recorded you and it's all over the internet. So we're like, yeah, we just recorded you. How do you feel? And I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And then we're like, bye. And obviously, and then I just sat there for a few minutes thinking, man, I want this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Wow. Congrats. We definitely wish you all the best with that and we'll be disturbing you. I will be Please disturbing, disturbing you when Please you disturbing. come back. Um, we'll see here a little bit more about that and finish up our conversation and the show when we come back after this break. Welcome back to the spots. We've been talking with Didi Ake about quite a few things Ake actually. Ake Yalure. So why is it, so so, why is it is short? Ake yeah, because it's Ake Yalure. No, Ake is, well, Didi Ake, it's, that's my social media handle at ah. Didi Ake. I don't want to make it complicated and long. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ake Yalure. Please, let's Didi not. Ake Yalure. Yes, mm. let's get that right. Please, let's not get. Yes, let's not uh, get publicize the name. Didi. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You don't tell us that word. It's me on this spot. On the spot. On the spot. The spot on the spot. Oh, what am I saying? You don't want to tell us. You don't want to tell us. No. Let's just say it's two of my names. I have two names that happen to start with D. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So, just so D and D and then just D, D. And then when I was in the UK, my first name, which is actually Doi, okay. let's say, uh, was a, lot, a little difficult to pronounce. So everyone just started calling me D. D. How did they? How did they say it? Doing. 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 Um, doing. Do, doing. Or, doing. Oh, or some really people call do me doing. doing. Like D O I N. Doing. How are you doing, doing? <laughs> <laughs> so then I just figured, okay, my well just, so everyone said calling me Didi and it kind of stuck. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And I like it because then it means that, you know, in one life I'm doing and in another life I'm Didi. So ah. I, it kind of puts me. Okay. Um, you separate the two. Separate the two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I want to ask you about. With, with journalism now, yeah. since you are now a journalist. Yes. Um, and journalism in Nigeria, I mean, a few presidents in the past have had the opportunity to interview the president. Mm -hmm. A few journalists have interviewed the president. Even the current president, I think, has had one media chat. How do you think we handle interviews here? Do we do it right, especially with politicians? I mean, you watch shows like on the BBC, you know, yeah. sometimes well, I'm like, poor, or yeah. I'm poor, you know, yeah. you, you see there's a lot more investigative the investigation prior to the interviews and there's more depth sometimes people yeah. say do you agree with yeah. that yeah absolutely i mean i think it, it depends in in general i mean sometimes you know when you're sort of asked to interview anyone that is high profile 
here in Nigeria. There's the first, always that. The first thing that comes, you, know, you get an email saying, can mm -hmm. you please send a the list question. of questions. questions? You know, so they want to be more, they want to sort of have control. control what is being said. Whereas internationally, I mean, I guess if you, if you go to the BBC, you, you know, <laughs> or any other, you know, yeah. well-known um, organization of the, um, in the media and you ask, can you please send me questions? They'll probably oh, be like, I don't yeah. know. Why, why, why would we do that? You know, yeah. it's, against, <laughs> it's completely against the idea, the of, idea of journalism. Yeah. You know, journalist, mm. you know, but here in Nigeria, it's kind of like the norm. They're like, I beg, send questions. You know, they need to know. In, in some cases, they even send you the questions. They're like, yeah. so this yeah. is what you're going to ask the, you know, the whoever you're interviewing. And you're thinking, eh, oh, yeah. nah, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. So, um, and in, in many cases, they wouldn't even agree to the interview. Until, the they've until they've until they've done that and they've vetted yes they've vetted everything and they have the control um, it takes a lot of bravery I guess for them you know for our leaders or anyone in any position of of authority to just make you know go on a show and be quizzed and mm -hmm. so I can understand why they're afraid but at the same time they have a responsibility to the people and that's the job they signed up for yeah. mm. you know what I mean it's like when you go into the public eye. You know, and you're a celebrity or something and you're out there and then you're saying you know why are they asking me this or why 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 are people saying this about me or that is what you sign up for when you sign up to be the president of a country you or the governor of a country you must be ready to be questioned about every single thing that you're doing because it affects you know? all our lives yes yeah. and and even the fact that you dodge or the fact they're trying to control already shows that there's a problem that there's something what wrong are you because hiding? yes so you're not allowing the media to be the media you're not allowing a journalist to be a journalist by saying this what These I are yeah. the 10 questions that I want yeah. you to ask me. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> Might as well just sit down just and record yourself, yourself yeah. and just say, okay, this is what I'm going to say to you. I'm a YouTube to channel. Let's yeah, do, just do a exactly. vlog. Play a president's vlog do a, today. Yeah, <laughs> do a vlog and say, so my name is President Days and this is what I want to say to people. And instead of having anyone come to you to say, yes, yeah. let me actually sit yeah. down and so it's not necessarily the so journalist's fault you're saying it's more in um, in many cases it's not the i mean i guess in some cases it is the journalist's yeah. fault that's just the, you know the way they roll but um in many cases it's not that's just the you know that the is practice. what happens and because you want the interview you're, you're not going to say no you're be half ready better like than how am i going to do it now you know yeah. you just i mean obviously you know where i am at CNBC Africa, obviously, we, we, we are very much against that. So we're like, mm. we don't, we, so we're always stressing, we don't want, we don't take your questions. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't want to do it our way, then sorry, no interview. There we go. You know? Who's been your favorite right. interview? Uh, quickly, uh, quickly. Make oh. it a quick one. Quickly, oh. quickly. Oh, favorite interview. Oh, Wale well, Shoinka is a favorite. Yes. All right. Wale is fascinating. I mean, you sit there and he just starts, like, you get lost in the interview because he's throwing things and insulting somebody. Yeah. Like, and like, yeah, 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 this interview is sweet. Then, yeah, like, man, this interview is too sweet. Like, I can't wait for the interview. I, I cannot wait for this thing to air. I'm going to hear what this man is saying to me. He is very, very interesting. And Ibuko Awoshika, I love her. Aww. When I interviewed her, like, it made me think about my life. I was like, man, this woman is a, is a I need serial to do entrepreneur. Yeah. 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 Great stuff. Well, thank you so much for coming. Um, we've had a good time and we hope that you've enjoyed and are have relaxing enjoyed home. It. <laughs> um, we wish you all the best. Buy us, buy us clothes. And I don't worry. See you guys. Send, send, send your list. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Bye. give you my email address. Send your list. Mm. Uh, buy us. You can't eat these biscuits for no, free. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so you have to Please sign, sign our wall. Oh, a fame. fame. Oh. Oh.